All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back at it again. My name is Edwin, and this is Loving Cars. Today, we're talking about an interesting topic that I've actually been bugging my mind for quite some time and for quite some years. Why does South Africa use this cab over trucks? Why does, while other countries such as the United States of America, Australia, and other parts of the world and countries such as in South America use these conventional trucks? Now, in order to differentiate the two, we need to ex explain what are cab over trucks and what are conventional trucks. Then we'll come to the reason why South Africa chose to use cab over trucks instead of conventional trucks. Well, cab over trucks are trucks that actually have a flat face design and the cabin of the truck is mounted on top of the engine together with the chassis that holds uh, the entire truck and the place where you hold the fifth wheel. That's where the trailer gets attached. Now, a cab over trucks has its own advantages and its disadvantages. One of the advantages is if you're losing, if you're living in narrow streets, actually, where the streets are narrow, the roundabouts are extremely, are extremely small, and you are you have to deal with tight corners each and every single day inside the city or outside. Cab over trucks give you a great a great 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 chance of maneuvering in tight corners than conventional trucks would however cab over trucks give a problem when you have to access the engine it's not pretty much easily for you to access the engine unless if you tilt over the cab and you while you you, you do that you must make sure that each and every single thing in your in your cabin is tied together or else it will come down and smash in your windscreen because the the entire cabin will be like this Cab over trucks don't have enough space at the back to carry um, uh, almost the same size bed of uh, that is found in the bedroom. They are extremely small and the space is narrow. Accessing the cabin is a problem too because you have to climb higher in order to get inside the cabin. Now, conventional trucks are actually great because they give you an ample amount of space at the cabin at the back and they also offer easy access to the engine when you have to fix it because the driver sits behind the engine watching or looking over the long hood what is called a bonnet in south africa ahead of him so there is an amp amount of space at his back and the bed is bigger and the compartment is a little bit larger compared to that one in a cable cable over trucks. So now we come to the real reason. Why did America choose to stay with with uh, conventional trucks while Europe and South Africa chooses cab over trucks? The main reason is roads. The way our roads are built is not the same as the American roads and Australian roads are built. South African roads are extremely narrow and our towns and cities are extremely small. The roundabouts are extremely small. So it forces us to actually use cab over trucks to to make it a little bit easy for the drivers who will be driving in South Africa to maneuver in tight, narrow, urban streets. And the rules in South Africa are different than those in the United States of America and Australia. In South Africa, a truck is only allowed to carry two trailers. If there are three, they might not be longer than 18.5 meters. If that longer than that, you're going to need a special permit and it takes a lot of time to get a particular permit. And you must make sure that you have a valid reason for you to hold that entire trailer. Because for you to do that, you must you must you must force the local government to remove the, the street sign and the roundabouts, block lanes, reroute lanes, and stop traffic, which cost a lot of money and it cost a lot of a lot of time frustrating a lot of drivers so this is the reason why south africa chose to use cab over trucks than conventional trucks i've seen a few of conventional trucks in south african roads however all of them are holding one trailer because conventional truck has a longer wheelbase and because it has a longer wheelbase it consumes a lot of space uh, that was supposed to be consumed by the trailer itself so using a conventional truck will actually be robbing a South African if he chooses to use it of space and how many trailers he can haul. Another reason why South Africa is actually using uh, the cable of trucks 
instead of conventional trucks. It's because South Africa was colonized by Britain. We all know that. And Britain has narrow streets. All the streets in South Africa are actually designed in the very same way that they were designed in Britain. This is one of the reasons why South Africa drives on the left instead of driving on the right. It's because we were a colony of Britain and we inherited all of their way of driving and their cars and their designs and the rules of traffic and roads. All of them have been inherited by South Africans. So why is it that Europe Britain and other countries such as South Africa use cab over trucks while the United States of America and Australia are using what we call conventional trucks. Well, if you go to Australia, you will find that Australian roads are built differently from those that are in Britain and in South Africa. Although Australia is a former colony of Britain, they themselves decided to do things a little bit differently due to the ample, ample amount of space that they, they have between states. That they have in Australia. So because most states will need highway, interhighway to join each other, they they actually had the choice and the ability to use uh, the conventional trucks because a lot of truck drivers in Australia own their trucks and because they own the truck they spend a lot of time living in their trucks due to traveling on the outback conditions where there is no hotel and nowhere to stay so staying in your truck makes actually your truck a second home this is a different situation when it comes to south africa a lot of south african truck drivers do not own their own truck and do not live in their own truck therefore don't need the amount of space that is actually uh, given in the conventional trucks that is another difference that actually is there between the countries. The road designs and the road rules are actually different. In Australia, a truck, a truck is allowed to hold up to four trailers without having a problem. In outback communities, you can hold up to five trailers long as 55 meters long. That is more than double of the amount of trailers and length allowed in south african roads so if you want to practice that in south african roads it will be disastrous because our streets are narrow our roundabouts are extremely small and our towns cannot accommodate such long uh, long uh, trucks with so many trailers america on the other hand has wide wide streets it doesn't matter whether it's in towns or cities or interstate highways the roads are extremely big and similar like in australia a lot of truck drivers live in their trucks so because they live in their trucks they convert their trucks to be their second home making them actually love having the space at the back that the conventional truck actually have because it provides them with a longer wheelbase therefore giving them the ability to load up a lot of things that you actually um need for you to live in a truck so that's it ladies and gentlemen that is the reason why south africa uses cab over trucks and australia and america use conventional trucks would south africa actually consider using conventional uh, trucks i actually doubt that because one south africa doesn't produce its own trucks we depend on europe and buying our own trucks two our road infrastructure cannot allow us to do that so if it's not broken, don't fix it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Edwin, and I'll catch you again next time. This is Loving Cars.